Hello and welcome to Law Seeker. Today we talk about the top 10 news developments for the day and the two minutes for judiciary aspirants. So first we start with the national news. Now Indus Bank has gotten approval from the Reserve Bank of India to establish mutual fund asset management business as a wholly owned subsidiary. The bank has also granted or uh, been granted permission to infuse equity capital into the subsidiary. Moving on, now this is an important update, so you may make a note of it somewhere. So, Paralympics Committee for India, it has appointed its Vice President Satya Prakash Sangwan as the Chef de Mission for India at the upcoming Paris Paralympics Game 2024. He has over a decade of dedicated experience in Paralympic movement. Thirdly, Senior IAS Officer Amarchand Bhatia, Amarchand Singh Bhatia, he has assumed charge as the Secretary of Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade he replaces Rajesh Kumar Singh, who was appointed as officer on special duty in the Department of Defense. Next, in a first, two women officers of the Indian Coast Guard, they participated in foreign deployment. Let's cover some details of this update. So they were on board a patrol vessel during overseas deployment. The Indian Coast Guard offshore patrol vessel, which is Sujay, it made port call at Jakarta on August 21st this year as part of its ongoing deployment to East Asia, thereby making this significant milestone in the history of the services. Kerala has requested Rs 900 crore in central assistance to cover the losses and the rehabilitation costs from Vainad landslide which happened nearly uh, you know, during the time of 30th of July. This claimed 224 lives. The estimated charge is Rs 281 crore with an additional Rs 600 crore which is needed for deploying township and rehabilitation facilities. The Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology it has directed social media platforms to remove all the posts wherein the identity of the victim of Kolkata rape and murder case it was disclosed. This is following Supreme Court's directions on 20th of August wherein lawyers raise concerns about such disclosure despite the law strictly prohibiting the same. Now let's cover important international news developments for the day. So first we talk about the Ulchi Freedom Shield exercise of 2024. It's a joint military drill exercise which is undertaken annually between South Korea and US and this began on 19th of August this year with several firsts. So notably this exercise included rehearsals on how South Korea is going to respond if there is a nuclear strike by North Korea. Now, Ukraine's parliament, it has voted to join the International Criminal Court, which is aiming to hold Russia accountable for alleged war crimes committed during its invasion. This court, which prosecutes serious offences like genocide and crimes against humanity, it can issue warrants which are enforceable by its 124 member nations. Now, let's talk about Japan. So, where authorities have issued evacuation notices as Typhoon Ample, it approaches Tokyo. And lastly, Germany captain Ilkay Gundgogan, he announced his retirement from international football after leading his country at Euro 2024. He expressed his pride in his one uh, in his 82 international caps since making debut in Germany by in the year 2011. So that's all we have for the day. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until we meet again.